What up, Motive in Motion family? This is Evan. I'm here with my good friend, Ocean. What's up? He's a Facebook ad expert, and I like to bring different experts on the show to basically tell you what's going on and what is new in the main uh, scheme of things, as well as keeping your skills and, and uh, focus dialed so you can balance the hard skill and the soft skill. And what Ocean is good at, I'll let him sell himself in a second, but he's good at bringing new leads for cheap for clients. He's worked with different gyms on getting clients really quickly and easily and keeping their ad spend low so they can get those leads and close them on the new on the phone for new deals. So for a second, I'll do my best and whatnot, but I want to hear what you do and uh, basically you can tell them what you do and what you're good at and what your experience has been so far with it. Yeah, so in a nutshell, the local businesses need more customers, but they don't know how to do it using the internet. They don't know how to use Facebook ads or whatever. They haven't got the time to either. I mean, they're busy running their business, doing what they have to do. So that's where I come in. And I use Facebook ads to get more customers for local businesses very cheaply and quick. Well, and I've seen some of the back end of what he's doing and it's always very efficient, very lean and very easy for these clients to come in and basically get the leads that they need to do. And uh, it's up to them to close the sales or to bring those customers in. And uh, everyone has funnel services and whatnot, but basically, they need to have these leads cheap and they need to be able to bring new customers and new sales into their business and Ocean, what he does is so efficient for doing that. And we actually met at the same time that we met Riley and all these other crazy characters at this Dropship Lifestyle Retreat of 2014. And that was basically, you know, yeah, two, almost, two, almost three years ago now. That was in October, right? Or September? Yeah, October, September 2014. October. Yeah, and we both started dropshipping at the same time. So we've been just developing a good friendship for that long of a time in the same business model, same idea, same mindset. And for Motive and Motion, what I want to do is bring you know the curtain, bring the curtain behind, and, and uh, show you the real entrepreneurial journeys and struggles, and mindsets, and these self actualizations that will help people get where they want to go by choosing the focus that they're gonna do, adding the value to specific unique marketplaces in the way that only they can, and being that dominant force in their uh, market. So. I want to ask you, Ocean, so basically like through this entire journey, you know, we started with dropshipping, what have been some of your main struggles in in the back end of the soft skills of your business and your life? You know, instead of just the hard skills of dialing the ad cost down low or, or keeping CPC low or whatnot, what have been some of the struggles and the ways that you've overcome the, you know, inside the internal game of the entrepreneurial career so far for you? So before I got into this entrepreneurial journey, I was a very... I'm still quiet, but I was even more reserved and a lot more quiet before. I didn't really like talking to people, I didn't network or anything. I, I had to really come out of my shell and up my communication skills and be able to network and tell people about what I do and the skill that I bring to the table and the results that I can get them. Because at the end of the day, you're selling yourself. So I had to learn how to sell myself because even though people want my services and want the solution I can provide them with, they're not gonna hire me if I come across as unconfident or unsure of my ability of what I can do for them. So I have to sell myself and be confident and say, you hire me and this is what I'm gonna do for you. So um, I think you touched on a big point, which is that self-belief and that's that whole mindset of adding value and the confidence that you have because you can add the value. Because I think that a lot of clients, they want certainty, which is really not possible. But by dialing your craft and becoming the best entrepreneur, the best server that you possibly can, you can basically help them with the assurance of certainty and obviously do your best and bring that up. So um, over your journey so far, Ocean, basically what has been some of the high successes that you've, that you've gone after or that you've gotten after dialing in that confidence and that belief to just come out of your shell as kind of an introvert? And um, what are some of the failures? I guess as a result of being more confident and having more self-belief in what I can do, I've been able to work with you know, a ton of entrepreneurs from different industries and really help them with their market element. I guess that's something I never thought would have been possible you know, a few years ago. I mean, I mean I've had a ton of failures. I've, you, you have ups and downs on this journey and I've had a ton of failures, but I guess I look at it as something you learn from. And, now an example of that is my dropshipping store for example, it didn't work out and I guess that's for a few different reasons but one of them was um, I didn't get the business sorted out, so, for example like the taxes and that. So when I was trading with other companies like 
it was it was more B2B, my products I was selling. It wasn't okay with buying from me because I didn't have a VAT number or something like that. So that was one failure there. Um, I've had so many failures, man. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard for me to just say one off the top of my head, but I guess it's it's just something you learn from. And you keep moving. Yeah. And that's something I'm always talking about because anyone that I bring on, anyone that I talk with, they are successful, but they've had these entire years or even months in in this one mindset of failing or being, you know, under the weather in a business sense, not just sickness. But it's not a failure because the only time you fail is when you actually quit. Any entrepreneur who really got anywhere, they understand that they have to fail or whatever. And I don't even like that word because it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's not really a failure. You fail if you quit and you give up and that's it. But whether whatever you're doing on your path is just a stepping stone, you know? If you had this 50 doors in front of you or something and you knew that your goal was at the end beyond those 50 doors and you just kept going and going, you wouldn't stop after door 13 or 38 or 40. You would just go through them and you know that you have to get there to uh, get through those to get, get where you're going. What type of things did you have to tell yourself? What type, type of uh, internal hurdles did you have to overcome to become this entrepreneur who just knows he's a beast, who knows he can add value, who knows he can bring exactly what he wants to the clients and what they're looking for. What type of things did you have to say? You know, thoughts, images, whatever mental notes that you had to take on yourself to be able to get to that point where you could even add the value or say that you could, you know? So in the beginning, I was working with clients and I was doing it at a discounted rate just to, you know, better my skills and get testimonials and get proof of results before I could actually make that big claim and say yeah I can go out there and get you results. I had to actually prove myself first and yeah I did it for free for a while, did it for a discount, got some clients, got some good results and then I was able to take my proof and show other people okay this is what can be done, this is what I can do. Awesome. And uh, another quick tip, I guess, is basically like your fee is a pretty sizable fee because you're bringing clients so much value and it's like an investment in their business. So the smart clients get to you and they say, okay, we need this. We need more leads. We need to close sales. We need to build the business. How did you even get up to a level where you were comfortable charging a good amount per month? Because I know that's kind of an internal struggle to be able to charge what you're worth. And I know that because I've gone through that as well. So what was that you know, for your background? Yeah, um, just always keeping in mind the value that you bring to the table. Um, for example, if I if I charge ten dollars and I make someone five hundred dollars, then I'm bringing this is something that's worth it for them. They're gonna get a huge return of investment. So I'm always thinking about what's the value I can add here, or what's the value I can bring here, and that's how it makes sense to me and them, and then it becomes a win-win situation. So I don't feel guilty charging a hard uh, a higher price or you know feeling like I'm ripping someone off instead it's a win-win right. that's what I love about capitalism it's literally like trade value for money so expounding on that basically what is the the base of your you being able to charge someone such a high fee but them getting that installation of your work if you will in a one-time fee and they can basically use it for years and years and years. Like what's the value of a client relationship of a you know back and forth of that win-win long term for every client and for you as well, for your business and their business too? Oh yeah, um, that's very important. I mean, as much as this business, as well as that, you know, it is, it is relationship building, I guess. Think, thinking about that when it, when it comes to relationships, when you're able to help these, for example, these small business owners with a problem, then they start to look to you when they have more problems. And so they keep coming back to you and say, okay, help me with this one since you helped, you did a good job with this one. And, it, and it's, I guess it's good for your business as well because you're going to have basically a lifelong or a long relationship customer. Right. And I think that's super important. The reason that I'm laughing right now is because <laughs> I don't have any fancy equipment right now. This is basically shot on my iPod. And we're sitting here at a cafe and all these cars are driving by. And so we're trying to get the shot right. And uh, it's just kind of funny because we're just shooting our content and we're trying to get that one sentence out. And it's probably going to be chopped and edited a lot. But I want to get the value from Ocean. I want him to demonstrate. And he, as he's done very well of uh, the client relationship and also just the value because I talk about this stuff all the time and you can hear it from me a thousand million trillion times 
and it's great, but if you hear it from other people who are out in the field as well, who are also doing their work, and just getting what they need to be doing done and mastering that inner game and then getting results on the outside, then it's extremely important. So um, where can they find you, Ocean? You can find me on Facebook. If you want to send me a message, you can, yeah, just search my name. It's Ocean, but on Facebook, it's Ocean with two N's for some reason. <laughs> So yeah, you can add, you can uh, message me on Facebook and I'll answer your questions if you have any. Cool. Yeah, that's the best place. Cool. I'll drop all those links in the description so you can go check out Ocean and anything that you want to know about how he does this process. He's just a gold mine of value. He's one of my very good friends and we've been on this journey for a long time and uh, it's just, we feel like we're just getting started, you know what I mean? Because like all these things in the background, we basically have to just overcome them on, and all the difficulties and whatnot. And we've both been out here. You know, we both came out. We're actually the some of the youngest nomads that we've ever met each other. Like he is literally the youngest digital nomad, or whatever you want to call it, that I've ever met. Everyone else is above me because I'm 23 and you're 21 right now. Yeah. Still 21. And basically, everyone else that we've met in our entire journey, which is literally thousands of entrepreneurs across the world, is older than us, which is really cool. And uh, so we have that good like mindset of just like changing our lives for the better for a long time and, and starting as early as we possibly can and uh, we both came out here with a little bit of money and we, we've been able to flip it into what we've been able to do for the entire three years almost and we're still out traveling we're still abroad it's been like this for sure but we're still here and uh you know we're just able to do that and we're still on the journey so hope that you guys thought this was valuable uh, hope that you guys will tune in in the future and I'll drop all the links in the description and everything. Uh, so yeah, until next time, peace. It's Evan and Ocean signing out for Motive Motion. Peace. And it's just... <laughs> okay. So yeah. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> so, the timing. Hold on. Uh, I heavily discounted. <laughs> <laughs> as much as this business as well. Oh is tough enough. <laughs> now I have to start again. <laughs> Try to start your thought and deliver it. So yeah.